Hey, what's up, coach? Welcome back to the podcast. Today is October 1st, and it's episode 233. We've done 233 of these bad boys, and if you haven't left a review yet, make sure and leave us a review. And do it now. (laughs) All right, so the title is They Won't Buy Until You Invest Into Yourself. And uh, I've been on Twitter for the last couple months and I feel like that's been a a really good platform to learn from others and uh, one thing I've learned that there's this guy I follow he said something really genius and this made me think a lot about myself and then made me think a lot about you but he said something uh, this was in regards to sales he said a couple years ago I was not willing to invest into myself but yet I was asking others to invest $5,000 into my program and no one would buy. And then he went on to say, no one would invest into my program because I was unwilling to invest into myself. And then he had a series of tweets after that where he was like, once I started to invest in myself, I understood what it meant to invest. And it made it way easier for me to ask others to invest in my program because I understood the experience. And this is how it is. If you go back to episode 231 and you're like, well, dude, I'm not going to be able to sell $5,000 programs. Well, it's probably because you've never invested $5,000 into yourself, right? And ultimately, when coaches sign up for my mastermind or our one-on-one program, they're not paying me anything. They are investing into the betterment of their business and themselves. That's it. And in order for me to help, they have to have skin in the game. (laughs) <laughs> That's all I require. They have to have skin in the game. You have to have skin in the game. And here's here's the deal. When I started selling high-end programs to parents, that never really happened until I started to invest into myself cuz I needed to feel like I needed to, to feel what it was like to invest into myself. This gave me more confidence as a business owner to charge what my value is. Right, And I want you to think right now, if you're afraid to spend money on yourself, like in a good way where you're investing into yourself, but it's easy for you to go buy stuff that is not personally helping you. And I'm talking about like things that don't matter, like having a Gucci watch or I don't know what people buy. I'm very disconnected from that. But like you're... You're finding yourself, you're spending money on things that don't really, they don't really advance your life, but you're afraid to spend money and invest on things that will improve your life. That comes down to your mindset. And if you're having problems selling $5,000 a year programs, well, it's probably because you have a weird relationship with sales and you are not willing to invest in yourself, which will mean that you're gonna have a really hard time collecting and having the confidence to charge $5,000. And I know this sounds kind of weird, right? But it's true. This is very, very true. And I'll give you a good example. And uh, I'm not afraid to share this, but this was in 2015. I had an opportunity to get mentored by someone that is like a guru in the online space. And the price of admission was 10 grand. And that included like four one-on-one meetings out of state. So I had to fly across the country to meet with this person. And I remember though, when I was presented the opportunity to join this group, I remember I thought about it for a day and I was like, man, what is my life gonna look like if I don't do this? Like I'm gonna have to spend years trying to figure out something when I could just, invest and learn and grow, right? So what I do? Well, the next day, like after I thought about it, I was like, well, I'm gonna do this. Here's 10 grand, boom. And here's what's funny. A couple weeks after I did that, I, I think I tripled my price for private training, right? Here's why, it's because I understood what it felt like to invest a lot of money. And it wasn't me investing into someone else. It was me investing personally into myself. 
And that's what I want to ask you today, right? If you're afraid to command high fees for your private training, well, maybe you haven't invested in yourself. And this doesn't mean you need to invest into my program. I'm not, I'm not trying to brainwash you here. But I will tell you that if you do invest into my program, you're investing into yourself and you will get the results, right? You will get the results and that will help you sell high-end programs in the future because you know what it's like, all right? That's it for today's podcast. If you want to learn more about our program, our mastermind program, simply go to our website at www.buildmysportsbiz.com. Click on mastermind. From there, it's very, very simple. I set up my website to where like an eight-year-old could go there and navigate. Uh, So if you cannot figure out what to do on my website, we got some problems. (laughs) So that's it, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.